Hello guys, in this video we are going to upgrade this Del Vostro 3750 from Windows 7 to Windows 10. You can still do this in December 2016 by going to this link that I will put in the description and you simply click on upgrade now. It will download uh, something, you save it, then you simply run it. Of course for me this will take a moment because uh, I was too lazy to install all the drivers on Windows 7 because this is a fresh Windows 7 upgrade. So this is not uh, the laptop's Wi-Fi card working, is a USB Wi-Fi uh, card. So that one is pretty 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 slow. So yeah, we should wait probably for a few more seconds until this uh, download finishes right here. So yeah, we still have a few seconds. And we should be good to go. At this point you can close this page it's no longer useful simply click on accept it does a quick check everything seems ok and it will download Windows 10 and uh, from this point uh, onward it will kind of do its own thing so you can leave it for a few hours until it finishes and you when you will come back you just need to do a few settings and then Windows 10 should actually start so it will restart by itself anything uh, will be done by itself unless it encounters some problems then you need to input something okay uh, Windows is now installing by itself and after this step will be done it will uh, wait for about 30 minutes and if you don't do anything it will restart itself if you are around you can restart it uh, faster you will have a restart now button or something like that this is what I'm talking about this uh, took a hell of a lot of time as you can see here, but since uh, Microsoft released uh, Windows 10 anniversary update, this randomly happens on some PCs, it just takes a lot of time to upgrade to Windows 10. To make this faster, you can disable uh, Windows 7 updates before starting this upgrade process. That makes it uh, faster usually and unplug everything from your computer that you do not 100% needed at that moment but it's still kind of random so yeah we start now and we will wait for it to, to reboot and see what does ne it does next it would have rebooted by itself in about 25 minutes or something like that and here we are with Windows 10 booted up and of course I'm going to do my uh, usual settings and continue. Windows started, most drivers installed by themselves. The list of missing drivers is way smaller than the one in Windows 7. And uh, yeah, I'm going to, to see how to install this uh, and see exactly what they are by using uh, the hardware IDs, although these look quite strange. At least that one, let me try for the unknown device. Details, hardware ID. Yeah, this is quite regular hardware ID, but this one's... Hmm. I've never seen something like... Oh, sorry. Something like this. But uh, most likely, if I search for uh, something from this, I will find <laughs> the correct driver. So, anyway, I'm going to give it a restart first and then uh, see what remains in that list. 
and it's finished. Avira detected Windows 10, so it updated itself, it wants a restart. Uh, all drivers installed, one of them was uh, the freefall sensor, uh, the other was the Bluetooth, so that's pretty simple. As you can see, Windows 10 is activated and everything working perfectly. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos and see you again in the next one. Bye!